Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Exporting the Carousel Assets from Photoshop. If you remember from a previous lecture, you don't require Photoshop for this course at all. So if you don't have Photoshop, then you don't need to watch this lecture. You could just uh, skip forward to the next one, but be sure to remember to copy your Sans Photoshop Images folder into your website images folder. So the contents of the Sans Photoshop images folder, copy it right into the images folder in your working file. All right, so moving on to the people who have Photoshop. You're gonna to wanna to open up in your course files, the design assets, number one design assets. And let's uh, start with Carousel Large. So click on that to open it up in Photoshop. You will see here, I have three folders, slide one, two, and three. That's number two, that's number three. So they're very simple Carousel background images, and they look like this on the actual website. So let's start by exporting the, the large Carousel image assets. So to properly export these for the web, choose uh, File, Save for Web and Devices. And for the preset, choose JPEG and the quality should be, let's say, very high. You can do a test here to see. Let's go two up. This one's the original. This one is the exported version. So if I were to say low, you could see you could clearly see a quality difference and we don't want that. So the goal for saving for web and devices is to export at the lowest possible file size with the best possible quality. You don't want to sacrifice too much quality for file size, but you don't want to be eating up people's bandwidth with your large images. So let's try high. That doesn't look too bad, but I can still see that there's a quality difference, especially if I zoom in, you can see it's not as awesome. So let's try very high. That's a bit better. So let's just choose very high because at 100%, they look pretty similar and it's only 118K. So that is good for me. Hit save. So you're going to want to save this in your website folder. So navigate to that in the finder window here and click on your images folder. You're gonna to wanna to save that in here. And let's name these carousel images, carousel underscore large, cause this is the large one, and zero one. So this is the first large carousel background image, save. Now let's save number two. Save for web and devices, file save for web and devices. And we're going to choose the same settings. They should still be the same. Very high JPEG. Looks good to me. 116K. I'm cool with that. Carousel large 2. Save. Moving on. Slide number 3. Save for web and devices. Same settings. All good to me. Save. Carousel large 3. Awesome. We're done with the large carousel background images. You should see them here in your images folder images. There we go. Carousel large one, two, and three. Moving on to the next one. Go back to your design assets. Click on carousel medium. They're going to be the same, just smaller. Slide one, two, and three. So let's repeat the same process. File save for web and devices, or you can use the keyboard shortcut. Shift option command S. That's what I always do. Same settings. This time, let's call it carousel underscore medium one, because this is the first one. Next, carousel medium two. I'm just gonna speed through this fast now. Carousel medium three, saved. All right, moving on to the next one, carousel small. Open that up. There we go. This one's for the uh, smaller devices. So let's choose number one so we could save this as zero one. OK, 
carousel underscore small zero one for the first one and then on to the next one same thing carousel small two and the last one slide number three save for web and devices carousel small tres or three so we have here in our images folder in our website carousel large one two three medium one two three and small one two three that was so fast good for you guys if you were able to keep up if not rewind try again and so that's that's literally it for this lecture so in the next lecture we are going to code the carousel so this big thing right here we're going to use the background images that we just exported super fast out of Photoshop and we're going to make this work and it's going to be awesome so I cannot wait to see you in one minute